Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Delaney. And today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some really cute outfits that you can wear in really cold weather and still look really cute. I know that weather is like kind of a touchy subject. I feel like people are so vocal about weather on social media and online. I live in Southern California and it's generally very warm here. So my wardrobe kind of generally reflects that, but I'm from a place where it snows every winter, freezing for that whole time of the year pretty much. I've traveled to a bunch of super cold places. So I feel like I do know how to dress cold, but not on like a daily basis anymore. So that being said, depending on where you live, I'm sure if you live somewhere super cold, you have a bunch of really great tricks and you kind of know how to layer this base layer anyways. But feel free to like comment below if you guys have any other extra tips that people can benefit from to stay more warm and obviously just like add things if you need to to be even warmer add layers or take some off if it, any of this is like too warm but these are just kind of a general way to get dressed and still look cute when it's generally cold outside okay now that that disclaimer is out of the way this is kind of what I'm starting with for my base layer so these are actually fleece line tights I know I look really silly right now this is not my skin this is like the they're meant to look so that it looks like your skin i also think i'm wearing them backwards so hmm, it doesn't matter but anyways these are a game changer you can just get these off of amazon but they're fleece lined so they're super warm they like trap in your heat and i swear they keep you so warm you can wear a pair of socks on the inside of them and also a pair of socks on the outside to be super warm and then for a top layer i think it's always good to have i like to wear like a sports bra with stuff like this because i just think it's comfier and then like a long sleeve a turtleneck a thermal whatever is like the comfiest and coziest layer for you as a base underneath this is kind of what i'm going to wear pretty much under everything to stay warm so layer up the socks layer up all of this you can even do like two pairs of these or another pair of tights on top if you really want to and it's a great starting point so let's get to the outfits now also if you guys can hear my dryer in the background i'm sorry but i have to have to get the laundry done you know okay these are some nice comfy sweats so these are great for layering pretty much all the pants that i'm going to use in this video are pretty loose just because it's really nice for these like layering warmer layers underneath the sweat set is really really cozy too and i've definitely had like a color crush on gray lately which is so weird because gray has always been like my least favorite color not as much for clothes but just like home decor and everything like gray just like is not a color that makes me happy i feel like intrinsically the color gray is just not happy color right but I have been loving it for clothes lately it just is like so fun and easy to style so this is from Hollister I'm wearing a medium in the top and the bottom so nice and comfy and cozy and then I'm already sweating I'm gonna layer over top this naked jacket so I think this one is sold out it's a few years old but any kind of just like heavy weight like this is really substantial really warm any sort of like trench style jacket that's warm over top of a sweatsuit is going to be like a perfect kind of like chic more city cold weather outfit i feel like my hair is absolutely crazy today i'm going to try not to mess up my makeup like super bad with all these beanies but it's probably unavoidable okay i kind of like a tall beanie like this it might look kind of stupid but I'm kind of into it and then I pulled out this blue beanie because I wanted to wear my sambas with this so I have the tights on you can also do like I said a pair of socks underneath I actually have a pair of socks underneath my tights right now and you could do one over top as well might get a little tight for your shoes but can stay warm these are obviously not the warmest shoes so if you need to go to like Uggs or something instead but I just liked the two pops of blue even though they're not the same blue which kind of bothers me but it's okay and then I think like a crossbody bag looks really cute with kind of a chunky layered outfit like this. I really need to take this part of this handle off. But I love my little silver tabby bag from Coach. And I think that this is just such a cool, comfy, kind of like streetwear outfit. I would definitely wear this in New York. And if I was wearing this in New York in the winter where it's literally the coldest place ever, I would probably wear a turtleneck underneath this as well but like I said just add layers as you need to in my house in Southern California right now it is not that cold so I'm not doing 
the max, but just add the little pieces as you need be. I would also wear gloves if I was in New York. Um, but yeah, outfit number one. Okay, gonna switch directions a little bit here. I tried to do like a variety of outfits for you guys. I feel like a lot of cold weather outfits that I wear are very outdoorsy because a lot of times when I'm in super cold weather, it's just like a mountain trip or something like that. We're just doing a bunch of outdoorsy stuff and the clothes are kind of specific for that. So I didn't do a ton of that. I did more like everyday wear or even like a little bit more dressed up, like occasion-ish wear, I guess, which is kind of what this outfit's gonna be more like, but it's still pretty casual. So I'm just layering over this little black mini skirt to my base layers. Do you have our base layers? The best for you, again. And then I'm gonna put a sweater over top of this. If you wanted more warmth, like a turtleneck would also be really cute under this sweater because it's just a little crew neck. So the neck part would be really cute, like poking out. And then this sweater is like very oversized. It actually almost covers my skirt and I don't want it to be quite that big for like proportion so I'm kind of just going to tuck these two sides in like that. I think that works good enough. You can also do like a do two hair ties on either side and then knot them and tuck them up. It's like a little bit cleaner but I'm being lazy. Okay and then I feel like we all know scarves are a great way to stay warm. I'm gonna put my hair in a claw clip. Cause I feel like up looks really cute with a scarf. Okay, something like that. And then I need to learn like some more scarf tricks, but I think, okay, so I think just like a simple crossover will be cute with this. My skirt is from Abercrombie. I think this sweater is from Naked. The scarf is from Oakenfort, and then this is also from Naked. So like a shearling bomber leather type jacket this is so freaking warm this one is nice and thick and like substantial again it's the way you just turn into like a marshmallow during the cold seasons okay so I feel like this looks really cute I'm loving this I'm sweating so bad and again if you need to do like the double layer of the tights or whatever double layer of socks triple layer do what you gotta do but if you're committed to like wearing a skirt or shorts or a dress or whatever in the winter, I think that you still can with the right layering. I also run hot as a person. I feel like it's worth noting. Like I'm literally always hot. I'm rarely ever cold. So that could be why I commit to skirts and stuff with the layers in the winter. And some people are like, hell no. Or it's just literally so cold where you live that you can't. I get that too. But I would still wear this in like 20 degree weather in Reno where I'm from. Like I have worn stuff like this. I think this is so freaking cute. I love it. There's nothing in this purse that's looking very flat, but this is perfect to wear if you're like going out to dinner, if you're going shopping for the day or something, um, and you want it to look like cute and girly, but still be warm. Next we're switching gear gears back to something way different. So if you guys follow me on Insta, you know how obsessed I am with these. I've been wearing them for the past like year and a half probably. They're camo sweats from Amazon and I wear the size medium. I think that they're still sold out in like all the smaller sizes. The small size they have right now is large, which is what Clayton wears in them. I'll link them and I'll try to find similar, but honestly, just like any cute comfy sweats. So again, this is great because they're nice and roomy. You could do tons of layers underneath. And I thought it would be cute it is the holiday season to do like a little green and red moment. I like how this red is a little bit muted and it's a little bit on the orange side too. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's definitely red, but it's like an orangish red. This would also look really cute with a cream turtleneck underneath. I feel like maybe I'm just gonna leave my hair in this like that. And then this is my juicy jacket. I got this last year, I think, and it is such a good jacket. It's such nice quality. It's super heavy and thick. It's really expensive. I will try to find something more affordable for you guys, but honestly, like any sort of jacket over top of this works, obviously. Because there's a little bit of cream in my sweater, I have this beanie. I'm gonna try not to get too dirty because it's really Clayton's beanie. Yeah. I like a little messy beanie situation. And then for the bag, this is like a nice kind of like hobo bag. I think that's what they're called. Ooh, it doesn't really fit over this though because I have a shoulder pad. Okay, that's all right. I like to hold it like this too. And then I'm gonna do 
my Taz is because the brown ties in with the bag and it just kind of like goes with everything and then the little red detail is so nice and Uggs are really really warm as well so this is a good nice warm outfit okay to be honest with you guys I'm overheating filming this video if you watch the vlogs you know we don't have heat and we don't have air conditioning so the temperature in our house has actually been pretty cold because it's been like in the 60s recently I think now in like the middle of the day it might be 70 but like in the morning it's pretty cold in here so our house isn't even that hot right now but these outfits are warm so especially for here this one we're gonna start with this bodysuit this is giving like what's that one thing from Dr. Seuss this is reminding me of that the yellow mustache all right so nice turtleneck over top the other layers and then we're gonna put jeans on top of that these are both from Abercrombie the top and the jeans and it's like a looser fitting pair of jeans which is great for the layering and then this is like a little bit colder or a little bit like warmer weather outfit than the other ones but I'm telling you guys I'm sweating so much right now so that's why I picked this one next but you could also make this warmer with more layers over top or underneath of course so this vest is from Levi's and so cute I have been so excited to wear this it has like the perfect little vintage feel Swallowing up my hair a little bit, like a little tuck. For the shoes, I'm gonna do these Uggs that are very, very comfy and cozy and warm. Kind of like goes with the shearling on the vest. I feel like this might be an outfit that I wouldn't really wear outside when it was too cold or just it wouldn't be in that cold of a place, but it would be good with like a jacket over top and then taking off when you're inside this will be super comfy and cozy. This is also kind of like a cabin-y feel outfit to me like a little mountainy. I'm gonna put this hat over top. I wear this hat all the time. And I love it, and it kind of has that like vintage feel as well to go with the vest. I didn't have a purse pulled for this outfit. I'm gonna go grab one. I feel like a red purse would be cute. Okay, I couldn't decide. I feel like monogram is cute with this. Either the red one or the brown one. I'm thinking the red one for more, that one on the for more of a pop. Cause there's like a little bit of red in the hat and red is just the color of the season. The shoes have a little bit of red detail. This is so cute. I love this for like a little mountain girl, mountain town. This next outfit is ooh, maybe my favorite of the whole video. It's so cute, you guys. These are from Hollister and I love them. They're so comfy. You could literally wear like a second pair of sweats under these because they're so loose and baggy. Now we're gonna start sweating. So we're gonna layer over top this like emerald green sweater which is also from Hollister. I just did a haul of their stuff on a vlog recently and it was all so good and so affordable. Okay, maybe I'll do my shoes now before I get like marshmallowy. These are the platform mini Uggs. You guys know I love these. I wear them all the time. I did a whole video on just like styling outfits with these and I really need to clean them because they are so dirty right now. But these are so warm. They're great in the winter. I did just wear them to the snow and they're like they work in the snow, but because they're a platform, they're a little bit sketchy when you're like hiking around in the snow. So be warned. So cute. These pants also have pockets. Major plus. Now we're going to take a trench coat over top of this. So I love how this is like the green and blue just goes together really nicely. And then kind of complementing it, but also breaking it up a bit with this like tan trench coat. This is old from ASOS, I think. There's tons of good trenches like this. I will we'll link some for you guys. Okay, I think this is supposed to be like this. I kind of like to tie the back, but you could obviously tie it in the front too. And this would be really cute with a scarf as well. I'm not putting another layer on them. I'm sweating so bad. This hat, I love. I just got this and I've been wearing it so much. I feel like it goes really well with a lot of things it's like really complimentary colors and it kind of matches this outfit like perfectly i love the little yellow wording and then i like to pull my sleeves out like this i feel like it helps keep you warm and then obviously if you're wearing gloves it'd be even warmer and then this bag matches the sweater perfectly just like a little tote bag and i feel like this is a great like walking around a city again or 
I'm never gonna stop messing with this. Like going to work at a coffee shop outfit or something like that. I just really like the colors. I think it's so fun. Okay, next I'm gonna do a really casual outfit, but a little bit more dressed up, I guess, with some denim. These are like a nice creamy pair of Levi's. They're so cute. A winter white, if you will. Button fly, it's always a little bit harder to do. Okay, so cute. And then over top of this, I'm gonna do just like a little crew neck. Also looks really cute, again, with turtleneck underneath. Added warmth. Okay, I feel like I might do the hair tie trick on this. Okay, I need to get some more hair ties. But you just take a corner. I guess it's not really a corner of your sweatshirt, but just take over your sweatshirt. And you turn it into like a little ball with two hair ties. And then you just tuck it up and it's kind of like perfect cropped look. So I splurged and got this acne scarf. I love these. I've always wanted one. It's the perfect like winter color. It's got all these reds like gold creams, green, navy, like how cute is this you guys? And how do I want to wear this? I think I want the red to show, so. But we're gonna wear the scarf like this. So the little scarf, cute. Then because the scarf has some red in it, I'm gonna wear my red platform Converse. So the red Converse, super cute, goes with a little pop from the scarf. And then for the added layer, also when you're wearing gloves, um, in these cold places, biggest tip I feel like is putting your gloves on before the jacket because it just makes it so much cozier and more like airtight. This jacket is actually not like super heavy weight, but I love the look and color of it. So probably would wear actually like a little bit heavier of one in a super cold place, but we get the vibes. I want like a little bit of the sweatshirt to show. Just like that. I need to cut this tag off because it's bothering me. Cool. But yeah, I think kind of like any brown jacket over this, especially a bomber, I think looks really cute with like a crew neck, but just any brown jacket I feel like looks nice with the colors. And then for some added warmth, we love a little earmuff moment. These are also from Hollister and they're so comfy and cozy and definitely help keep you warm. Be bag. I need a bag. Okay. And then for a bag, I honestly think my little silver tabby would be so cute again. This is just like a really casual, like easy. I would definitely wear this like walking around the city again or shopping, going to lunch, something like that. It's just so cute. Okay, and then I have one more outfit for you guys. I'm actually gonna have to take this layer off for that though because the neckline kind of shows it. With this exact dress, I'm not sure if I could wear another layer underneath, but if I needed to, I'd make something work. This is like a little sweater dress from Abercrombie and it's so comfy and cozy and I do definitely think of this as more of like a outfit that I'd wear in cold weather but wouldn't be spending the whole day outside if that makes sense. I'm still gonna wear my sports bra though because it's comfy. Okay but how like chic is this? So this is definitely like the most dressed up outfit I'm gonna show you guys which also makes sense for not wearing it a ton outdoors but you could do some stuff outdoors. You could be outside for periods of time. I'm gonna pair it with my red boots because I wanted like a little pop of color so I don't look like too drab. These also help keep me a little warm, I feel like. We love a scarf moment. I feel like the gray looks cute with this. I also really want a red scarf. I feel like that is the piece of the season and I can't believe I don't have one, but really want one. But I don't even think I would wear the red scarf with this outfit because I feel like with the boots it's too much. I feel like the gray is more complimentary and less redundant. This leather trench coat, definitely good for like wind blocking and warmth. And then over top, I would like tie in my scarf. That looks kind of cute to me. I think I kind of love that. And then you can kind of like split it a little bit so that you can still have like the leg, it looks like I'm wearing tights, which is so cool, but it's really 
warm leggings, basically. And then this little, this little red vintage Gucci bag to tie in all the red. And I feel like this is so chic and so cool and definitely still warm, um, but like I said, more of an indoor cold weather outfit. Yeah. So that's all the outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed these. Like I said, I know the weather's crazy and different for everyone. Tried to make it like a baseline that you could all build around for the exact climate and style. So hopefully it was helpful. If you guys liked this and you'd want to see a part two, because I didn't do like a ton of outfits. I mean, I think I did like seven. So it's a good amount. But if you want more, let me know. I could do a part two. As always, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it so much. And I'll see you next time.